on Saturday, September 7th at Temple University Student Faculty Center, there was a unique gathering of community activists, journalists, mothers who lost loved ones to gun violence, and community members impacted by gun violence coming together to discuss the media's role in covering it and how this coverage impacts the community. This summit was the brainchild of Jim McMillan, a fellow at the Reynolds Journalism Institute and director of the Initiative for Better Gun Violence Reporting. Speakers included Dorothy Johnson Spite, the founder of Mothers in Charge, and Dr. H. Jean Wright, a forensic pathologist. Dorothy Spite explains the purpose of the summit. This event has been created to bring together members of the community impacted by violence with journalists who play some role in the coverage of the issue. Conversations are intended to get to know each other better and create opportunities to ask questions and share ideas for how gun violence coverage could best serve the community. I asked Jim McMillan why he thinks it's so important to have a dialogue like this. The goal is that journalists who report on gun violence will be more connected to the community. Because we always talk about trauma-informed journalism and data-informed journalism, but I think we need more community-informed journal journalism when it comes to covering gun violence. So I'm hoping that by having, and, and literally we're going to have journalists and people f impacted in the community sitting together at the table, at the very least they're going to see each other and they're going to know who's on the other side. Hopefully they'll exchange some contact information, maybe some, some business cards, and they'll, all, and, and they'll both have more people they know on the other side. If, there'll be 15 meetings. If they only connect with two or three, it's going to be pretty good progress, right? Shana McMillan believes that when the media is covering a story, they should consider the families as well as the person who lost their life. Specifically, I would like the media to um, tell us who they are beyond just their name and the location of their death. Um, who they are for their family, who they are for their community, um, not just the circumstance of their death. Um, because those individuals who have passed, they are fathers, mothers, children, grandchildren, students, foot little league players, community leaders. Like who are, who's the individual that we're mourning, not just the circumstance of their death. Dr. H. Gene Wright states he sees a connection between behavioral health and gun violence. What I'm saying is people who have traumatic lifestyles, dealing with some things that come from social determinants, poverty, um, uh, again, uh, abuse, neglect, those kind of things, and then grow up with anger and hate things that have not been processed, those individuals tend to reach out and strike out against others. And so as the saying goes, hurt people hurt people. And so that's that connection between gun violence and behavioral health. And so I think it's the sensitivity that a journalist would need to have as you're coming into a neighborhood that maybe you do not live in, reporting on a situation that maybe you don't fully understand, and then putting on paper, if it's print journalism, or on camera, if it's that type of media, a respectful, knowledgeable story that takes into consideration uh, both victim and perpetrator, Philadelphia Inquirer journalist Abraham Gutman explains why he attended the event. We also have the opportunity to search for solutions, to do evaluations, to, to elevate good work in the community that, that is solving, um, maybe not gun violence, but is solving you know, a sliver and, or a facet of it. Britt Christopher had this to say about the event. Um, I enjoyed this event. Um, I got enlightened a lot about this event and um, got some perspective and um, just good conversation with many people about gun violence and how we should stop it and how the media should reflect on it differently. Participants at this event came away with the belief that if the media and the community work together, gun violence could be reduced in Philadelphia. This is Connie Com for Philly Cam Voices.